if you're ready today to get baptized, um, I want you to step out of your seats right now and come on down here. We're going to have you come down here to the green room, and um, we, we'll, we'll just come in there, and we'll do that here in just a moment. So just get up from your seats. Come on, right now, right now. Just step out of your seats. Let's, 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 woo. Right, wherever you're at, just step out of your seats. Come on down here. Don't wait. Don't, you don't, you don't even worry about it. Just say, yep, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I need to do it. You've been thinking about it. It's been on your mind. Just come on down here, and um, Pastor Jake will lead us in a couple songs. And here in a moment, we will, um, we will baptize those that are coming to the back. And as, as Pastor Jake's leading these couple songs, uh, and all of a sudden it comes to your mind, I need to do this, just step out of your seat. Just come on down here. This is an exciting moment to say, okay, God, I, I know there are people been in here that have been saved for a long time, never made this step. It's just say, like, today's the day. I just got to do it. So, Pastor Jake, I'll let you. Ashley here with me. And Ashley, when was it and how did you come to know Jesus as your Savior? I have believed in Jesus my whole life. And when, what was it that said, Jesus is all, Jesus is everything for me? What did you do? I, I believe Jesus died on the cross for my sins, rose again, and I am saved by His grace. Absolutely. Amen. Well, I'm going to ask you to hold your hands out here and ask you upon your profession of faith in Jesus. And in obedience to him, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. If you uh, know our blog, you were on there in the blog this week of just sharing that you have trusted the Lord recently. Yes. Tell me just a little bit. How did that happen? Well, I haven't really gone to church for 28 years. And then uh, the Lord called me to church on Father's Day. I've been coming ever since. And uh, about two, three weeks ago, I was alone in my truck and uh, took the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior. Absolutely. Great. Two weeks ago. Good. All right, Keith, I want you to hold your arm there. Then, upon your profession of faith in Jesus and in obedience to him, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Good job. All right, this is Keith's wife. Felicia. And Felicia, when did you trust the Lord as your Savior? Uh, last Sunday after church. With last us. Sunday. Yeah. The Lord is working. Good. Now, what is it that you trusted the Lord in? Every part of my life. Very good. You admitted that you're a sinner, believed in Christ, commit your life to following after Him. I did. Very good. All right, I'm going to ask you to hold your hands out. Yep. Please, upon your profession of faith in Jesus Christ and in obedience to him, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right. We've got Joe here. And Joe. How did you know that you wanted to follow after Jesus? Well, I, I've been a believer my entire life, but uh, it wasn't until I started coming to Calvary and I started to read the Bible and go to Bible study that I realized that I needed to make it first and foremost in everything I did. And I'm just so grateful that everything that he's done for me through my entire life and how he continues to do things for me. I feel so blessed that I feel his love today. Good for you. Good job. I'm going to ask you to hold your hands out. Face, turn the other way here. All right. And, and Joe, upon that profession of faith in Jesus Christ, and in obedience to him, we said in Matthew 28 to go back, be baptized. I baptize you now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
There he is. Tell us your name. Jonathan. Jonathan Cortez. And Jonathan, how long have you, how long has it been in your life that you have said, I want to follow Jesus? When was that decision? When was that? In bed. When you were, what, a year ago, two years ago? Something like that, right? One year ago, you said, I know I want to follow Jesus for all of my life. And you got faithful parents who desire to, to teach you as well. So, Jonathan, I'm going to ask you to hold your hands out like this. Upon your profession of faith in Jesus Christ and in obedience to him, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is Jonathan's brother. It's getting a little high here, huh? <laughs> and uh, what's your name? Noah. Noah. And Noah, you have trusted the Lord as your Savior, right? You've done that early in life. And just when your, your brother Michael said, I want to do it, you said, I want to do it also, right? So we're going to baptize you also. So would you hold your hand there? And Noah, upon your profession of faith in Jesus, and in obedience to him, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Good job. Very good. Job. All right, tell us your name. My name is Mike Kirshner. Mike, and Mike has been with Calvary for many years. 20 years at least, yeah. And yeah. today's the day. Today's the day. Why? Yeah. Why today? I didn't expect it today, actually. I didn't know this was going to happen today, but you know, I accepted Christ 20 years ago, and you know, I understand grace, and that's what changed me. I've been a Christ follower, and I thought, I've been putting this off too long to get it done today. Yeah, good for you. And when you say you accepted Jesus as your Savior, what does that mean? It means I'm a sinner. I know I can't be good enough to get into heaven. I need a Savior. And... Uh, Jesus is going to get me in there. That's exactly <laughs> right. All right. I want you to hold your hands out like this. Good. I want you to come up and I want you to hit your head in the back. Yeah, that would be bad. Uh, Mike, upon your profession of faith in Jesus Christ and in obedience to him, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. Why do you want to be baptized today? Um, there are just some things that Pastor Lee was saying that really called to me. I was baptized as a child and I wasn't really sure if I could do it again. So what he said really spoke to me, so I felt the need to get up. So he said, Jesus said, follow after me. So there has been a time in your life where you have trusted the Lord as your personal Lord and Savior. Good. And when was that? Uh, it was February of 2014. Wow. So about a year, a little bit more than a year. Good, and you're walking strong with them. Good, Kate. I'm going to ask you to hold your hands like this. Move up a little bit here. Right. Kate, upon your profession of faith in Jesus, and in obedience to him, baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we just want to really let you guys know, if God is moving, we always see this every time that uh, we call people to baptism, that we see that God moves in people's hearts, even all the way through this celebration, as where you're watching these baptisms, you see those little kids, you see the, the people that are older in their life, and um, God may be speaking to your heart right now and saying, this is the time to step up in obedience. So don't let the fact that we're all sitting and watching, don't let, don't let that hold you back from what God wants you to do. The door is open and Jesus is calling you. So we're going to just keep celebrating here with these folks, but I just really want to challenge you. If God is calling you, let this be the day that you step out and follow him. Good. Tell us your name. Karen. Karen. Now, Karen, what does it mean to follow after Jesus? When have you made that decision to follow after Jesus? That decision many, many years ago, and I've just lost quite a few years. I found myself uh, in Calvary about six weeks ago, and I finally feel at home, and I feel that it's time, and I feel it in my body. 
body and my soul. Today is the day. I'm going to recommit myself. That's good. That you have trusted the Lord, admitted you your sinner, believe in Jesus, then you're like to follow after him. We're carrying it on your profession of faith in Jesus and in obedience to him, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. warm in here, huh? Feels good. Yeah. All right, tell us your name. Michael. Michael. And Michael, why should you be baptized today? God is not everybody that I believe in Jesus. Good. And you have admitted you're a sinner, believe in him, and commit your life to him. Yes. That's excellent. I'm going to ask you to hold your hands out. Michael, upon that profession of faith in Jesus, and in obedience to him, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right, are you related to Michael? Yes. What are you, his brother? Yes. Older brother? Yes. So you let him go first? Yes. All right, good. <laughs> Humility. So why should you be baptized today? Because I so let other people know like I'm a Christian and like I am like, so I can know like, I mean, yeah, I'm baptized. Good for you. I'm gonna ask you to hold your hand. Tell me your name again, I'm sorry. Jason. Jason. All right, Jason, upon your profession of faith, in Jesus Christ, and in obedience to Him, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, welcome. You made it. I did. Good. <laughs> Tell us your name. Loretta. Loretta. Now, Loretta, why should you be baptized today? You have trusted in Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And you said today, I want to let everyone know I'm following after him. Yes. Good. All right. So we're going to want you to no? There you go. So upon your profession of faith in Jesus Christ and in obedience to him, I now baptize your name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. How are you doing today? Good. Good. Tell us your name. Anna. Anna. And Anna, you've been in Calvary for a long time, huh? Yeah. So why do you, why do you want to be baptized today? Because I want to show God how much I love Him and how much He loves me. Yep. And was there a time in your life where you said, I want to commit to following after Him? I admit that I'm a sinner. Yeah. I believe. When was that? Um, well, I did that when I was a lot younger, but um, I recommitted my life to Him when I was like in the middle of the summer. Good program. Good. I am going to ask you to hold that. And then, upon your profession of faith in Jesus Christ, and in obedience to Him, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Fanny, can you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Fanny Zappi. And Fanny, who do you say that Jesus is, and what's your testimony about Him? Jesus is my Savior. He saved me, and gave me so much peace. Amen. So, Fanny, based on your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, in obedience to him, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Stephanie, we need to introduce yourself to the family here. I'm Stephanie Waite. And Stephanie, I just, Pastor Lee made this point. You know, Jesus asked Peter, who do you say that I am? So who do you say that Jesus is, and what's your testimony about him? Jesus is my Savior, um, and I believe that he died on the cross so that my sins would be forgiven. And I'm here today because I'm so thankful, and um, I just want to be obedient. So you trusted Jesus how long ago? 
March of this March. year. March, six yeah. months. Praise God. So, Stephanie, based on your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and obedience to Him alone, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise God. couple is on their way to getting married shortly and they're kind of in a path they're trusting God for so they let us to be baptized together so I'm going to ask you to introduce yourself and Mark and Teresa first just introduce yourself uh, Mark here Teresa Winery all right and same thing what who do you say that Jesus is and what, what's your testimony about him as your savior two years ago I was driving by here for a couple years and never came in decided to come in one Christmas and um I've just been motivated. Jesus is my Lord and Savior. I had a lot of tough times, but uh, this is where I belong. Amen. Teresa, you share your, your faith in Jesus Christ. You share and testify. I am a sinner saved by grace. And in 2012, I was baptized in the River Jordan. And I'm being rebaptized today to show strength to a man who I believe will be in my future. And I love Jesus with all my heart, and I will do my best to demonstrate Jesus to everybody that crosses my path. So I love God. Amen. We just stand back there. And I'll... So Mark, based on your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and end obedience to Him, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> wonderful thing to do together here. So, Teresa, based on your profession of faith in the Lord Jesus as your Savior and, and obedience to Him, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Howard here. Is that, introduce yourself, Howard. Yeah, hi. I'm Howard Imhoff. 60 years. Yeah, 60 years. Um, praise the Lord. Uh, he's the Lord of all. Uh, created heaven and earth. Uh, came here, lived a, sin, a sinless life. Uh, came to seek and to save. Was crucified. Uh, died. Uh, rose again. Sits on the right hand of the Father. Amen. Uh, to make intercession for Amen. me. Sinner saved by grace. So. I just have to go ahead. He was 13 when he trusted Jesus. 60 years has passed. It is never too late to obey God. Amen. 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 I had, I Amen. Just, I just yeah. just say, I had, I had God-fearing parents. I had, but I had a grandmother that was a prayer warrior. She came over from Germany on a boat uh, from from uh, Berlin before World War One, and. We would always go over to, we went to Faith Community Church in Roslyn. We would come over to her house for dinner after church. And I never forget her, she never spoke good English. But when she prayed, she always gave the Lord our home address. Be with the Imhoffs at 2441 Arling, Arlington Avenue and in, 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 uh, in Susquehanna Avenue in Abington, PA. Every time she prayed, she Amen. told the Lord where we were. Like he needed that. <laughs> By the grace of God, I'm oh, saved. Man. Thank you. Oh, Thank you, Lord. Based on your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and in obedience to Him, we baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the Holy Spirit. Amen. And that's just a beautiful example of, of how it's never too late to follow Jesus and to step out. So I just want to say again, if you're in here, even as you're watching, don't get too caught up in watching what God is doing in other people's lives. We want to celebrate with them. But if God is moving in your heart, you know, today is the day to step out and to follow him in obedience. And so it's not too late even for you today. So just make your way over there if you'd like to. Amen. And we're going to keep celebrating. We have another couple getting baptized together. 
So Steve and Lisa, just introduce yourself. I'm Steve Copenhaver. I'm Lisa Copenhaver. Same thing. Just Steve, just share who do you say Jesus is and what's well, your testimony about him? Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior, and um, I was baptized when I was a baby, and uh, um, I'm at the point in my life now where I've gone a long time, and it's time for me to profess to everybody that uh, he is my Lord and my Savior, and I'm a sinner, and um, I commit my life to him. Amen. At least the same thing. And uh, I, I um, was led to get myself baptized when I was 12 or 13 years old in the Methodist Church, and uh, um, I always had a strong faith in God, but I didn't know Jesus at all, and we just weren't taught that in our church. And um, it wasn't until I moved here uh, six years ago and started coming to Calvary that um, I learned to open my Bible and learn who Jesus really is, and that He um, took upon all of my sin and uh, washed me clean. Amen. 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 So we'll be baptizing your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and obedience to Him. I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Praise God. Step right over here. Uh, Lisa, Lisa, your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and in full obedience to Him. Baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Victoria, just introduce yourself. Um, I'm Victoria Christian. I'm 15 years old. And I was baptized when I was a baby, but I didn't truly accept Christ then. And I know he's my Savior, and I just want to publicly declare my faith. Amen. Amen. What a joy. Story based on your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and in obedience to him. Yeah. I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Yourself. My name is John Scott. What's your testimony? What, who do you say Jesus is? Jesus is my personal Savior. What do you believe about Him? All <sighs> things are possible. Um, with me being baptized, I had gotten baptized as a child because my parents wanted to do the right thing. Now I want to get baptized as an adult because I want to do the right thing. Amen. So you believe? Amen. You believe He died for you and your sins? Amen. He rose again. Yes, sir. Amen. You have a new life in him. Amen. Amen. <laughs> John, based on your profession of faith, Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, and in obedience to him, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Yourself? My name is Emily Ratchford. Emily, and what do you believe? What's your testimony about Jesus Christ as your Savior? I've been working in children's ministry for the past five months, and it's just amazing how much I've learned from teaching the kindergartners. They just, I mean, I'm sorry, they make me so happy. I just, I've learned a lot through this. What do you really believe? Have. You believe Jesus died for your sins? Absolutely. And he rose from the dead? Absolutely. You have new life in him, by trusting in him. You want to follow him? Absolutely. Amen. Amen. So based on your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and in obedience to him, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Praise God. Alina, just introduce yourself. I'm Alina Hai, and um, yeah, what, um, you're here today to be baptized because? Because I believe that uh, Jesus had died for me for my sins. Amen. And he's living in you. You love him and you want to follow him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Alina, 
based on your profession of faith in Jesus Christ. You could, if you could hold your nose. <laughs> and in obedience to him, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Praise God. Selena's brother, just introduce yourself. My name is Justin Hyatt. And what's your testimony about Jesus as your Savior? Um, I believe that Jesus has died for my sins. I've been given a chance to be baptized before. I did not understand what it was then, but I have grown, and I do not want another chance to, to slip by. Amen. Amen. No time like the present to obey the Lord. Just based on your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and now in obedience to Him today, Baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, the name of the Holy Spirit. Will you obey the Lord? Gotta make sure we don't put too much water in next time in case we get the whole family. <laughs> so, so just each introduce yourself to our family here. I'm Cliff Cagle, Jameson, and Kali. Kali Cagle. Kali. So good to get to know you guys just in the recent membership class. And, uh, so just each of you, just individually, just what do you believe about Jesus? I believe as a sinner, uh, Jesus died on the cross so that I could be forgiven for my sins. Amen. Kali. Um, you know, I always believed, but I didn't really understand. And I think it was about, you know, five months ago when we came here and we gave it all up um, to God and took Jesus into our hearts that, you know, we're understanding and continuing to understand. Jameson? Mostly every decision that I've made, Jesus and God have been with me, helping me decide what kind of decision I should make. Man, so you, you know he died for you in your sins. He rose again. And you want to walk with him. Amen. You guys said we're just keep you all in here. We'll baptize you all together here. But based on your profession of faith in Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, and in obedience to him, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and obedience to Him, I baptize you that year in the name of the Father. Amen. Keep walking with Him all your life. Based on your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and in obedience to Him, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hi, I'm Lexi. What's your last name? Hearts. Hearts. Lexi Hearts. And praise God. Praise, give praise to him. Testify to who Jesus is in your life. Well, I just believe that God died for my sins, and I'm ready to accept him. Amen. He rose from the dead. You believe he's your savior. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Lexi, based on your profession of faith, Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior alone. In obedience to him, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. With great joy. Amen. Yourself. My name is Mary Ann Parsons. 
Mary, I understand that you are new to the Lord, just a short period of time. Yes, a few weeks. Uh, my friend Louie um, prayed with me, and um, yeah, I've, I've been coming. And um, Man, What do you believe part, about Jesus? I believe that uh, he died for my sins and rose from the dead, and um, I have a good relationship with him. Amen. It's a great it's relationship with him. Amen. Yeah. Mary, and based on your profession of faith, just in a couple weeks ago, it'll be for all eternity, in obedience to him, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Just introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Stockley. What's your last name? Bafi. Bafi. Yes. Amen. What do you, what's your testimony about Jesus Christ as your Savior? Um, he has done a lot for me just this year alone, and uh, I'm just so blessed enough to, you know, want to see myself breathe out a new life for me. Do you believe he died on the on cross, cross for your sins? For, for my sins, yeah. Amen. 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 Exactly. It's a pleasure, honor to, to baptize you based on your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and in obedience to Him. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. you guys introduce yourself here? Hi, I'm Kyle Flickinger. And I'm Jackson Flickinger. Okay, and what do you each believe about Jesus? Believe he died for you? Died for, do you believe he died on the cross for your sins? Yes. He rose again from the dead? Yes. Offered you forgiveness of life, eternal life, forgiveness of sin and eternal life, right? Yes. Amen. How, when did you do that? How old are you? Nine years old. Is that just recently or a couple years ago? Recently. Recently. Amen. How about you? Yeah. I'm a proud daddy. <laughs> what do you believe about Jesus? Uh, I believe he offers the most amazing grace and mercy. Amen. I believe he's the hound of heaven and he will chase you down even when you won't want him to. And he will find you and he will love you. No matter what. Amen. 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 Well, I said this down here first. Based on your profession of faith in Jesus Christ, even as a nine year old who loves the Lord and in obedience to him, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you for sharing that copy. Based on your profession of faith, your love for the Lord, because He's loved you with an everlasting love. In obedience to Him, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Give you guys a hug. There you go. Amen. Lord God, we just thank you and praise you, Jesus, uh, for what you've done in this place. We thank you, uh, Jesus, that you died on the cross to forgive us, give, give us of our sins and that, Jesus, you rose from the dead to give us a new life in you. So, Lord, uh, we thank you that you continue to fill us with your Holy Spirit. And we pray right now that you'd fill us as we go from this place, Lord, as we've seen and witnessed these uh, just people stepping out in obedience to you, to you Lord. Let, let us all 
um, just step out to obey you each day, Lord, even as we go from this place, that we would walk in obedience to you. So, Lord, we just pray that you'd bless us, fill us with your spirit, just get us ready to walk in the victory that you've won. We pray this in Jesus' name. Everyone said amen, amen.